Hello and welcome or welcome back to my dandelion diaries. Today's video is going to be kind of a cozy monthly plan with me for December in my very fluffy <laughs> Hobonichi cousin here. But I also want to mention this video is part of a YouTube collab group loop. So if you are coming to this video from Amy's channel, The Secret Planning Society, hello. But if you finish this video, I do kindly wish that you would move on to the next video in the loop, which is Shine Sticker Studio and say hi to Debbie and Chelsea. But let's go ahead and jump straight into this plan with me. And we are going to be doing the month of December. Like I mentioned, this is the last month that I will fill out in my very chunky cousin. And since this is kind of hard to write on the side, I am going to do the ever so famous 360 flip where you basically fold the cousin in on itself so it's easier to write. And on top of that, I took the clear cover off and I am going to clip it down to the back cover just so it lays a little bit more flat. And this is something that you have to get creative with if you're gonna be using um, a chunky book, that's for sure. For my cozy stickers today, I'm going to be using the Coffee Monsters Co. monthly kit for December. This is like a little movie movie time um, snacks kind of thing. But I also wanted to use her cozy Christmas um, washi tape that she released a couple of years ago, maybe last year actually. And then I also have some of my own holiday stickers that I'm going to be using today. Um, just the holiday cookies and then some snowflakes for extra decoration. So with that, I'm just gonna get down to sticker in here. And I like to start off on the top corner. So if you are a Hobonichi Cousin user, or if you use planners that typically have a December monthly before the beginning of the planner, so like the planner has 13 months or 14 months, so it has that extra December from the previous year in the planner, are you team, I'm gonna move into the planner right when that month starts, even if there's no weeklies? Or are you team, I'm going to finish the book I've already worked so long in and then move into that month later, like, or move into that planner the next month? Like, I'm always curious because I'm definitely team, I'm going to use my planner till the end kind of thing, and then I'm going to start fresh on the new year. I don't know, it's, it's a tough choice because, like, I don't want to not finish a book, but at the same time, starting a new book is really exciting. Keeping on with the cozy vibes of December, I feel like this kit is really bright and colorful and can help be a little bit more cozy to those of us who don't necessarily have the best time over the holidays. So I've shared on my channel before that I lost my father a couple of years ago and he actually passed the day after Christmas. So the holidays aren't necessarily my favorite this time of year because obviously I miss him terribly. I will definitely say looking at a kit like this from the Coffee Monsters Co. that is colorful and happy and about going to the movies and things like that is really helpful um, just to keep my emotion and my mood more uplifting than kind of slowing back down into the, the more depressive episodes, I'd say. And on top of that, the adorable little cozy Christmas washi is so cute. I just, I love it so much. I definitely don't have a whole lot planned in terms of December because it is a month I typically like to take myself on more of a self-care type journey where I actually am more cozy and I stay in and I just enjoy time with my family. So I don't really have a whole lot to plan out other than like the holidays and um, like bills and, and things like that. Um, I do have a trip that I am planning to go on for the month of December. Um, basically the last week, if not the last two weeks, my boyfriend and I will be going to visit his family in the West US and basically going to take a road trip, hopefully, and go visit a few states over there. And I'm really excited for that. And that'll definitely keep me in a good mood and good spirits. Something else I like to keep track of on my monthlies is basically um, any highlights, any important tasks, finances, and appointments. And yes, I just use the stickers that are part of the Coffee Monsters Co. kit, so it makes it very easy. And I honestly just fill in the boxes of the month that don't inc incorporate December. So 
I take the few days at the beginning there from November and basically make them into December boxes and coordinate the appointments, finances, um, important things all together in those things. Just so it gives me a space that I can list those out there versus taking up more space in the sidebar, which is where I like to put in any kind of monthly tasks or things I need to keep at the top of my mind um, for that month. I also wanted to use the little snowflake stickers from my shop. These are the clear matte version and I just wanted to have a little touch of winter onto the page because the kit isn't necessarily super wintry. Um, I felt like between the cozy Christmas washi and the snowflakes I'd be able to feel a little bit more wintry on this page versus just having it be kind of like a happy movie time December which is still great. I just wanted it to feel a little bit more wintry as well. The pen that I am using is the Statler Fine Liner. It is a 0.3, or no, it is a three millimeter tip, and I don't know the exact color of it. It came in a pack, so I would probably say it's like light blue, maybe medium blue, but I felt that it matched the kit really well when it came to the color of the blue in this sticker kit. And then later on, I use a Pentel Sign brush pen, also in a very similar blue color. Another thing I like to keep track of in my monthly spread is my Zodiac information. This is just something I find really fascinating and cool to look at. Um, it's something that I'm kind of learning a little bit about myself and so on and so forth. I actually have a tarot journal that I'm going to be starting in 2024 setup is coming soon and I have a magic of eye astrology planner which I'm also going to be using for 2024 again setup coming soon um, but both of those I hope to kind of get more in tune with my I don't know feelings and emotions and intuition when it comes to changes in the seasons and changes in astrology and the planets and stars and everything like that but it's mainly just information I find valuable to myself so I like to include it in my monthly pages I also like to use the little tracker box from the TCMC kit to track my YouTube videos. So I usually slash out the days that don't exist um, for that month within the tracker because it's just a little five by seven grid square box. So I just take out the days that aren't actually in December. And then I will take a zig dot marker or a colored marker and color in each day that I do post a YouTube video. And it's just a nice visual way for me to see my progress with my YouTube videos. And since I use the Hobonichi Cousin as more of like a memory keeper, I guess, um, and personal planets, it's, it's kind of like my all in one this year. And yeah, I, I just like to have the information there to reference back if I want to. But I will definitely say December is going to be very colorful in this tracker because of the Diamine Ink Vent. So I will be opening up one ink a day for the Diamine Ink Vent, the purple edition, from December 1st all the way through December 25th. And I'm really excited to share with you guys because opening them every single day is going to be so much fun. And the last few things in here is just me writing out all of the stuff that I have going on between the appointments, um, my mom's birthday, uh, my boyfriend's dad's birthday, my dad's memorial that we, I mean, I may go visit him. It depends on what time we get back from our road trip. I know that sounds bad, but he would want me to live my life. And I know that. I also need to finish out my 2024 budget, get that finalized. And then I have a booklet and a spreadsheet that I need to set up for my finances for 2024 as well. And other than that, the only things I really have going on is just the Christmas stuff, going on a trip, um, moving into all of my new planners for 2024, which I'm very excited for, and then setting up the Diamine Ink Vent to open up with you guys, and my mom's birthday, and a few other miscellaneous things going on for my shop. I'll have a few new releases in December, mainly for like health-related stuff is kind of what I'm going for. Anyways, yeah, and with that, it pretty much closes out this plan with me. Alrighty, thank you again so much for joining me here today. Like I said, if you are coming from Amy's channel over at the Secret Planning Society, thanks for watching. But now it is time to head over to the next video in this group loop, and that is going to be over at Shine Sticker Studio. So I will have all of their information linked below in the description box. You can just click that link and it'll continue on into the rest of the loop. 
I will say if you make it back to me, then you have completely finished the loop. And thank you so much for watching all of our videos. This has been a really fun time for sure. Like I said, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay cozy, stay warm, and we'll see you guys in the next one.